<clears throat> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a try-on haul. I paired some outfits for you guys. These uh, are going to be two-piece sets. I got some hair on my lip. These are going to be two-piece sets. I paired them with purses and heels. They are not from City Trend, sorry. <laughs> Y'all, I shop from all over the world, but these are from Instagram boutiques. They're from... Justin, if you're in Houston and familiar with Justin, it's their outfit from Justin. It's the outfit. I don't know where the rest of them from. But I ain't never worn them before. Or if I did wear my one just once. And I want to give y'all some looks and some styles to give y'all some ideas when y'all want to go shake y'all ass. <laughs> Oh well, y'all want to go shake y'all bow tie? Y'all can go and do so with the crystal look. Because y'all know I got y'all. I do this for y'all. I do this for y'all. Because I don't go out of being a house out of time. So, anyways, with further ado, let's get into the try on, huh? You get all the streets and making that money, bringing me. This is a set that I had bought when I was like, I want to say about 20, about 23. But I was too thick for it, so I couldn't wear it. But since I've been at the house, I know I lost weight, but I'm gaining my weight back. But I'm not going to get too big because I like this, but now I can fit it. And it looked pretty to me. You see her. You see her. <laughs> you see her. For your love, for your love. You see me, for your love. And what I did for your love. was pair it with these big heels and this white purse, New York purse. And when I walk on the swing, <laughs> I'm gonna swing. See mommy cut a little bit, but it, it's a long cut. But y'all, all the fans gonna see it. They could say this book. I'm serious. I'm for real. I'm for real. God see. Embrace. Yeah. God, I love, I love Jesus, y'all. I really do. But that man makes no mistakes. Because a woman with a type of career like me, when something gets done to our body that's, you know, you can't get fixed, you can't hit, you can't hide it or nothing like that unless you cover it up with a tattoo. I would never cover up my tattoo with, I mean, my scar with a tattoo. Because my mama was saying that I could probably put a um, snake or something like right here. I was thinking about it because I was going to have the tail of the snake right here and I was going to have it going down wrapping around my thigh and on my knee I was going to have the snake mouth opening. It was going to look sexy because the tail was going to be like this and it was going to get wide 
go around my thigh and then mouth was gonna be open on my knee. But she was like, don't do that, don't do it or whatever. But she was like telling me if I wasn't gonna be able to embrace it cause we didn't know how I was gonna be when I got out. I was just so sad like, but when I got out, I was just thanking God for everything and all the nurses and stuff was just telling me it was gonna heal pretty. And what y'all don't know, my oldest brother, he got shot when I was like 16, no, I think I was 15 when my brother got shot and my brother had the same long uh, scar on his stomach like me. And my brother's scar is handsome and my scar is beautiful. Cause God gave us second chance, second chance, second chance, second chance. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. It won't work. Y'all see this? I love him. It's real. It's all through my house. Before what happened to me happened to me. My praise is real. My story is real. My testimony is real. I'm going to catch the Holy Ghost. I need to stop because I still get teary at it. But let's go uh, to the next one. That's why y'all gotta walk light, cause you're gonna break your damn heel, your ankle. What the fuck, man? <clears throat> Believe it or not, honey, I almost fell about three times. I'm cutting them the fuck out. <laughs> this is crappy. Keep doing it. It makes my knees weak when I walk. For real, y'all. My shit kills when it's linky. I keep my ankle. Okay, guys, I have this one. I paired it with some clear. I wanna, I wanna, I think these are some 11 inch heels, baby, because this ain't no six inch heel, honey. These things are making me lean and wiggle and wiggle and walk. Bitch, woo, a poo, I'm coming to fuck too. I'm pressured to serve for the 2022. Hey, ha, hey, ha. 
Y'all still ain't gonna follow me on TikTok. I be killing. That's one of the dances I did. Then I see it there. Put my legs around your hand and your hands around my leg. And I swear I'm just a little just young and gazy. All these fans video get posted today. While I'm filming this video, the only fans video that got posted, so go check out the new only fans video. And y'all wanna see that content. Lordy, make sure your bag is ready for this ass, cause it ain't cheap. And I'ma make you picture me. Seriously. This that's, that's what I want you to do. But anyway. So I have this. These colors are so pretty and vibrant. Y'all know how I love vibrant colors. My sister say since I lost weight, it looked like I got my body done, but I did it. And is this my cut? Since I got on the hair shirt, I can show you. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I try to tell y'all, the people that try to do me mean, y'all better leave me alone. Because the person that fight for me is the most high. That's the ruler and the maker of all. I belong to him. I don't have to fight. I don't have to shoot. I don't have to kill. I don't have to get ugly. You bother me because I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. I love to have fun and make people laugh and stuff like that. So if you choose that you want to be mean to me because you done probably disrespected me and got me out of my character and you try to like take it there or whatever, just know I'm going to do this and God is going to do this. I'm telling you, he never played about me ever since I was a little girl. God ain't never played about me. Let's go to the... Next one. What Megan says, ouch. Oh, you better not scuff my heel table. These are white. Oh, oh, my sister said, they're going to be like, yeah, you're your body good. <laughs> no, I didn't. I've been fine, y'all. Even before I got grown. Even before I had a baby. I always had a little physique. But when I get it done, I don't even know if, yeah, that's another thing I want to tell you. I don't even know if I can get my body done no more because the bullet is still in my stomach. And y'all know I wanted lipo and BBL and to fix my hip dip. But I really don't care. But um, I'm scared now because, you know, lipo, they go in you with that um, needle. And I don't want them to uh, shift my bullet, whatever it is that. And, you know, I be in critical condition, trying to look fine. When God blessed me to be naturally fine, you know, I'm not greedy. But, and I was saying too, I had to get an open surgery on my stomach, and I lost weight. So, I guess God gave me my tummy tuck, right? I, I told y'all I'm Jesus, baby. Y'all better leave me alone. That man love me. Cause he know I love him. I turn my back on everybody for him. He know that. Let God tell me to leave you alone watch you be done. Seriously. I'm talking about Jesus. Cause you know there's so many people that call their God God. My God is Jesus though. They be calling God different people like, you know, 
my God to be specific and let y'all know I'm talking about Jesus, okay? But yes, Jesus Daddy. He know where he was born when he made me. And I thank him. I love him. Cause I know he loved me. That night. So it was so crazy because the night I got shot, I ran the four flights of stairs and I called the ambulance. Just showing y'all how much the man loves me. And I got shot close range in an important area. You know you can go to jail for about four years for anything under the belt. I got shot above the belt. And I ran the four flights of stairs, a total of 20 and some stairs. And I called the ambulance until I couldn't do no more. But my baby sister okay, I'm okay, my baby okay, my dad, my Jesus, everybody is okay, my family. So, and y'all is okay now because y'all see nothing is wrong with mommy no more. And y'all telling me to stay safe and make sure I don't go outside. Y'all y'all should know me. I don't go out to the club or anything. So, that was a bullet that wasn't for me. That was a bullet to probably get somebody out the street that don't belong. But, you know, God had a different plan. And I'm just grateful and happy. But I love you, Kissy Poos. The better is it to go dead. And I have one more set for you guys. I know you don't. You have me where you want me. No, sir. But it's time for me to go. Cause you're so damn cold. Chasing you, life a dazzling Running away now, burning over now Y'all still ever found me on TikTok yet? Y'all boys messing around Burning going down, burning going down Burning going down, burning going down Chasing How do y'all like this? This was my da -da 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 -da. This is my birthday outfit for like three years ago. <sighs> I only wore it once, but when I wore it, I had the shirt over the pants and I had the thong in my ass. And it was fine. But guys, this is close to the end of the video. Thanks for stopping by. I'm getting hot. Give me some air. Give me some air. What the hell? I got right back hot outside in Houston. Houston is so stupid. Okay, guys, this is cool. The end of the video, I got done right in time because the camera is going dead. Thanks, guys, for stopping by for the new ones. Nice to meet you. My name is Crystal Ink. I'm sweating. But I want to thank y'all for stopping by, giving me some of y'all time. My dedicated kissy poos, I love y'all so much. Y'all are the reason why I come back and do what I do. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit the bell. And also leave me a comment down below. Even if you like the video, you got something to say to me, you got any video ideas, I read them all. And I love y'all. Kisses. Mm -hmm.